Alright guys, how's it going? We had a Nintendo Direct today. I'm um, just filming this right after it, so not too much has been out of my mind yet about what's going on here or what we're going to be doing. But I am showing you what some of the things are in this Direct, so please, guys, just stay with me. I hope you guys go watch it. It's really good. Um, you probably want to start, as you can see, I'm going through the bottom right now. Start about the 29 minute, a little bit before that maybe. So we go in here and the Nintendo Direct starts, as always. I'm not going to continue on through that. I'm just going to go to the gameplay and show you what we got. So, a few things going on here. We have a new WarioWare game, WarioWare Gold. It has a few micro games into it. Basically, what you expect from typical WarioWare. I don't really care much for this since it is WarioWare and I'm not huge into it. Um, some of you guys might be, so that's there for you guys who want to watch and play that game. But um, not much, not much to it, not much to it for me. Personally, I'm not. I probably won't play much 3DS now that I have a Switch. So this coming out on the Switch, this coming out on a 3DS instead of the Switch is really detrimental to me playing it. So sorry about that. Looks like a great game, but here we go. Where you wear gold. Next, we have this really fun looking game. I've never heard of it, but that's me. Um, yes, sir. Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. It, that's what it's called, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. I think it looks pretty cool, like some kind of like um, role playing, racing, adventure game. Um, has a lot of furry, maybe, possibilities, but a lot of people as furries. So, that is something uh, you have to look at with this game. I'm not really sure about it. It looks really interesting. Maybe if it was on the Switch, I might play it. But again, I'm not probably going to play a lot of the Nintendo Direct um, stuff that is not it is not Switch related. So, let's apologize for that. We got a new Mario's and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. Now, personally, I've not beat the original one, but this is just a remastering, and it adds a new bonus: Bowser and Junior's Journey. So. I think this would be really cool. Um, I might play it. This might be the only game on this list. This one has a good possibility of me actually playing the 3DS, but I probably will not buy it just because I have not beat the regular one. And I really, I, I think it's a cool game. I like Bowser's Inside Story, the original one, but you have to be really into the Mario franchise to do it. And Mario is not one of my main things, so can't really do much there. I might pick it up eventually like it'll be years down the road but it's out available in 2019 my opinion might change by then who knows i might want to play it and then finally 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 we have detective pikachu they do have an amiibo for it which is really cool march 23rd really cool game um very excited about this one this one might be a pickup at the end of this month um we're not quite, i'm not quite sure about me picking it up yet but there's one last thing i want to talk about before we finish it they are making a revamped Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. Now, I'm really disappointed. If you guys watched my What's Next for the Mario franchise on Damien's Dragon's channel, I did talk about Luigi's Mansion saying I wanted one for the Switch. They got one for the 3DS. So maybe they're just making this a precursor to the one that comes out on the Switch. Maybe you get a new boss, bo a boss run mode. Um, it's coming out this year sometime, so maybe it's just a precursor to maybe next year or the year after doing a new Luigi's Mansion on the Switch, or maybe whatever console Nintendo has out by then. But, I'm really disappointed that it's a remake. I know Luigi's Mansion was one of my favorite games as a kid. I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I actually beat this game. So, I'm really excited about that. But, I really I really don't foresee me buying Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. After, I don't, after all, I can still go back and play it on the GameCube. So, I rather pref I prefer that way. Some really cool games coming out on the Switch now. They have a new Kirby game, as everybody wants to do. Some new friends that are involving playing character roles as uh, King Dedede and Meta Knight and the Waddly guy that I don't ever remember his name. The Bandano Waddly. Dream Friends are going to be doing this, and this is po this is not Pokemon. This is uh, Kirby Star Allies. Available March 16th. So really cool game. I really look forward to it. I might actually buy this game. It depends on 
how I feel. As you guys saw, I did a little bit of a preview for the next game on this list. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks freaking amazing. Let me just say that it looks so freaking cool. I don't want to, not, not that one yet. This looks so freaking cool. Like, look at the graphic. I just want to show you guys the graphics. Look at the graphics. Okami HD this summer. It looks amazing. Uh, you saw the just that preview of that graphics. Go watch the whole thing for the graphics. It is amazing. It's more a Japanese style. I think it's really cool though. So I'm definitely this game is on my radar for a pickup this summer. Maybe it looks really cool, really interesting to me. Next up, we have a sushi, a sushi game. Um, you play a story where you're a sushi kid and you have to. Destroy your enemies with plates of sushi. I, I don't get it. This is more of a kid's game, I, I assume. So, um... Juicy Striker is what it's called. If you want to weigh the sh Sushido, if you want to play it, it's June 8th. Um, it looks more of a kid's game to me. Not really interested in it, but it does look pretty cool. So, if you are into that kind of stuff. One of the actual games I've never heard of before that I'm really interested in is Octopath Traveler. And this game was released, well, will be coming out, a new release for the Switch. They're coming up with a new DLC that's available July 13th. I'm really interested in this. They got a huge set right here. This is like an advanced release set. It gives you the preview of all eight characters you can play as in the game. And this looks like a really cool game, sort of like a Fire Emblem style game with a nice storyline. I'm really interested in this. So this might be a fun, fun pickup for me in... July. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, I'm really interested in it, and I kind of want to join on the bandwagon of playing this game, because it looks freaking amazing. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. We got another game. Travis Strikes Again. No More Heroes. Um, looks really cool. The guy goes around with his lightsaber that they call, like... An energy katana or something it's not final game footage but man does it look amazing that it's a game where there's a bunch of different games inside of a game i think it's a really cool idea i really like it but um well we'll see we'll see guess what guys guess what they did it they did it i don't want to show you him <laughs> they did it guys they they did they did it they have released a remastered dark souls coming out soon for the nintendo switch uh, i'm not really sure what that holds in mind there's is an there is a new Plus, remastered dark souls for the switch dark souls and they are making it um a game where you can't have a pre they can test it out they're doing that they have a network test more deals with hills that are coming soon but make sure you go follow nintendo to see what those are I think this is going to be really interesting. Now here comes the fun, fun part of this video. You guys can probably see as me scrolling through the screen. I'm just trying to find the picture I want to start with. It's not popping up. Let's try here. So they have a new Mario Tennis Aces coming up. Uh, you break rackets. You do a bunch of different things. I think it's really cool. It looks pretty awesome, in my opinion. I like it. It's, and the really fun thing about it is, despite a lot of people not liking motion controls in a lot of games, this one is con having is having motion controls in it, and you can't play with motion controls. Oh, and one last thing. Which is really cool. I thought this was a really fun announcement, just because they have a pre-launch tournament. You can play the game. That's really cool. And they have the they have the motion controls in it. I think that's going to be really nice. You can do all the different kind of just regular hit, backhand, and you can do a serve, a, uh, I forget what they call the spin one, but you can do all these kind of different hits with it, and you just have to move how you how you work. One that I was really excited for, um, well, I was sort of excited for, is they have a new game based off of Mario Odyssey, which is the Captain Toad's Adventures. I think that's really cool. I really think this is going to be a nice, fun, sandbox style game. Not my cup of tea. So, um, again, another wrong prediction here. I did not expect a Captain Toad. I should have really looked into this, but it's got a lot of the elements of, looks like Mario Odyssey in it. 
But he plays Captain Toad. I think it's going to be a nice game. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it. I probably won't pick this one up just because it's not a great one. So Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, coming out soon. And here we go with the fun one. They have announced Undertale on the Nintendo Switch coming eventually. I've never played this game, but I was super hyped watching this. I think it looks really cool. I like the how they introduced it. It's a really, really cool thing, and I'm definitely looking into getting into Undertale. So maybe looking into playing this game, doing some research on it before I actually go buy the game. But I'm really excited to see what the game will hold in store. Maybe the next Nintendo Direct will go into more detail. It just says it's coming out eventually. So, you know, they're, they're working on it at least. At least they announced they worked on it. <laughs> Guess what, guys? You thought you had enough of a particular game series that got rebooted. Really, well, not really rebooted, but remastered on a different... Re-came out, um... Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy is back, guys. I never really liked Crash that much. I played the racing game just because it was a racing game, and I was like, the only racing game you could find on the Game Boy, but I played it that. I don't really understand it. I don't really care for it. That's just me. So if you guys are like the Crash, 1, 2, and 3 will be all out again. Let's go watch that. Watch out for that next we have this really odd looking game. I, I'm not really sure what to do with it. But it's this nightmarish game called Little Nightmares. Um, looks kind of creepy. Maybe like a horror game. Um, sort of in that indie style. So I'm kind of interested in this. This might be a good pickup. Um, maybe later down the road. Maybe not 2018. Maybe like a 2019, 2020 game for me to pick up. Once it becomes, like, I don't like to buy games exactly when they come out, unless it's Pokemon. So, I'm probably not going to pick up this one right away, but that is me. Alright, so we got to go, of course, to South Park. And what do you know, guys? They have a TV show as a video game. And I really do not like that conversation. I don't, I don't like. I don't like how they do that. I don't like. Choose a class. Level up. I don't Your like number. how they make TV shows, video games. I don't think they were meant to be video games. They meant to be TV shows, not video games. But that does give us a nice lead-in for the next game. So Hyrule if you want to play that, Hyrule Rule Warriors is coming out with a definitive edition. Now, honestly, this looks more like a brawl-style Legend of Zelda game. I've never really played it, so. Um, I apologize for saying that. I've not played every Legend of Zelda game, even though I do do videos on them. But looks pretty interesting. Looks pretty cool. I probably won't pick it up. I'm probably more interested something later in this list. That I'm very excited for. But this does look pretty cool, and it's coming out. Guess what they did, guys? They brought back arms. You thought you were, you thought your arms were gone. They brought it back. Now they're opening some really fun things with a tournament starting. Actually, today, going to the 18th, so you got 10 days to do this tournament, and then they're gonna have an online file. So, this is like competition the Canada and US Open, we'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo and they're America streaming that to the Nintendo, site. Nintendo Direct of America, Nintendo of America, guys. They have arms, and guess what? We, what else we got? They're gonna be talking about. Arms in Split 2 at the developers conference on the 21st, which is really cool. I think it's really, really fun. Um, I'm not really excited that much for it. I think it's really cool for people who want to go see this, who really like Arms or Splatoon, or Splatoon 2. I never really got into it, so that's just me. But speaking of Splatoon 2, they added this really, really weird. They added Rank X, they added so many different things to it, but they added this one feature of a new storyline with Agent 8, which is right here on the screen, right in the middle there. She is a new agent, and you have extra downloadable content that's costs like 20 bucks. You can pre-order it right now, which I think is really cool. I think it looks pretty nice. It's called the Octo Expansion. So I think it looks pretty cool. It's just me. I like how it looks. I've never played Splatoon 2. Never played Splatoon. I'm not really into that that kind of game. I'd rather play like Player Unknown Battlefield or Fortnite or something like that. This is like too cartoonish of a 
shooter game and I don't really care for it. But you get some cool headgear, you get some cool clothes immediately if you buy it. And it's out now. And one final thing we have here is my favorite moment of this whole entire video. You get a little bit of Mario. You get a little bit of Link. And you get a little bit of Smash, guys. New Smash game coming out. Ooh, I'm so excited for it. I can't tell you how much I've wanted this game. So, I did post on Twitter when I was watching Direct that I was wrong. Mario was not heading in the direction of a new Smash game. And man, was I wrong about that tweet. I was so right, so right, calling it in that video. Damien's channel. I definitely knew this game was going to be coming out. It makes so much sense for Mario to go right into Smash because... I mean, what are the game they gonna do? They have Captain Toad coming out. They have three different Mario. They have Wario where coming out on the 3DS. They got Mario Super Mario Odyssey, the Toad Captain Toad Adventures game coming out. It's two Mario games right there. They got another one in Mario Tennis Aces, which that's three games. That's a sports genre game. I did talk about that, and then they released Smash. They save Smash to the end. Now, honestly, I'm a little, I was a little disappointed. So the cutscene with this, it was a bunch of Splatoon characters doing the uh, whole fighting thing, and I was disappointed because I was like, no Pokemon. Well, technically, this it, Smash does have Pokemon in it, so yeah. But Smash is a really cool game. I'm really excited to see what it is. Who knows what it's going to be? There's a lot of mystery to it. I'm really hoping they do add a lot of those melee elements into it. I hope it's different. I hope it's not like a melee reboot. It it doesn't give those vibes off. It seems like it seems like they're not gonna add like the characters they had in the other Smash games. So maybe it seems like they're gonna add Splatoon since it's more Nintendo. They're gonna get rid of Sonic and the other outside companies that aren't really Nintendo. Put, they have enough characters in Nintendo themselves to make a really fun fighting game with all those characters. But you are gonna see the Inklings in the new Smash game. So, I'm not really excited about that. I'm really disappointed, actually. I don't really care for Splatoon. <laughs> That's just me. If you guys really like it, it's cool for you guys. But I really don't care too much for Splatoon. Um, I think, yeah, adding some of your best franchise characters to a game, it's really good. But will I play a Splatoon Inklings? Yeah, probably, because you have to throughout the story at some point. But I'm not. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. When they release Sonic... I was pumped, guys. I was really pumped. But I'm so excited to see a new Smash game coming out. And this is going to be amazing. Super Smash Bros. And this guy, this guy is already triggering a, triggering a bunch of memes. I've seen so many memes on this already. And it's only been like an hour. So whew, everybody's jumping right on this right away. I'm excited. It looks sort of sort of Wii Smash Bros. It sort of looks a little Wii Smash Bros to me. Um, they don't give it, this is all they give. They don't have anything else on it. No Smash Bros. 5, no new title. It doesn't come out with Brawl, it's not. I don't even remember what the Wii U one was. I haven't played that one too much. But it's not like any of the other ones. So, I'm thinking they're going to make a new game. It's not going to be exactly like any of them, but I'm hoping it's like what I was talking about in Damien's video on Damien's channel, hoping that it is going to be a lot of aspects from Melee, I hope to see this classic adventure, the all-star and the events mode come back, events mode has been there the entire time, so I'm definitely seeing events mode come back, all-star is probably likely too, classic and adventure, not so likely, but I'd love to see those aspects come back, it's not like a super long thing like Subspace Emissary is. And honestly the other one I don't even I don't even remember what the Wii U one has, so I don't even know. But I don't I expect I really expect to see like a subspace emissary like gameplay style, maybe four players instead of two. But they definitely have the possibility to do a two player subspace emissary style. But I think they'll save the two-player for event mode. 
So I think that would be really cool there. I'd love to see the one-player classic and all-star and adventure modes come back. All-star is most likely going to be two players, though. So classic and adventure, please bring this back. One player. I love, I love that aspect of those games. So I really want to see that. Maybe you can have... I think it would be really cool to do a subspace emissary like like portion of the game. It maybe it's not... Okay, it can be as extensive as the other ones. They weren't too bad. Just don't make the Great Maze in it because the Great Maze is a stupid thing and I really hate it. Instead of making it two-player, make it four-player so you can have more people join in the fun. That makes more sense to me. So you have one-player classic adventure mode, two-player events and all-star mode, and four-player subspace animus. So you get six different gameplay styles. And then you have the regular brawling smash style where you just go head to head and battle each other I think that'd be really cool the online thing is definitely gonna be in there just please don't bring back that board game it was so bad I played it a few times it doesn't make any sense and it's really really bad it makes sense okay I, it does make sense but it, it's really I just really don't like that gameplay style I just want to fight and smash I don't care about the story arc too much if you want to make a story arc make a sub do it in the subspace emissary leave it out of the rest of the game because this is a fighting game, and we don't really care about story. We want to we want to hit things. But with all that being said, I believe that's all. It's coming out in twenty eighteen. I'm really excited for the Smash game. So that is all we have for the Nintendo Direct for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching my video. Go check out the actual Nintendo Direct if you haven't seen it. It does a way better job at explaining all these things. I do make sure you do start at the 29 minute mark because that's when it all begins. The first 30 minutes is just, they start at 30 minutes because it's a live stream and they want to make sure they got people coming to watch the video, so. That's what they do. Go, go watch this. It's a great video to see what's coming out in direct. You might find some few things that I've talked about that are coming out. I don't really care a whole lot about what they announced in this direct doesn't really apply to me i was expecting pokemon i was hoping pokemon <coughs> alas we don't see it which is really good for me because you might have a little bit of pokemon coming out this weekend so come stay tuned for those games make sure you check in to the battle tomorrow well the team builder tomorrow the battle on saturday and the final well and the final video for the week being the new variety content, the top fives, top tens, theories, those kind of things on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. My name is Chaos Made Double Six, and I'm signing out. I was being host for this video. I don't know what outro I'm doing. I'm just doing something. This was a really fun layback video. I'm really glad that I can just do these sometimes. I try to be as professional as I can in the videos just because I think it's better for me to do that. I try not to stutter and stuff, like, uh, uh, but this one is more laid back. I'm excited. I can't really do proper talking because I'm excited about Smash, and I really want Smash to be here now. I'm so excited for it. I'm pumped, and I'm really, really happy. If you have not seen my video on What's Next for Mario on Damien Dragon's channel, it's not as relevant now, but you can see my opinions on Smash because I do talk about it there so go check that out if you have not and that's all i got for you guys make sure you do tune in for the rest of the week for the videos and if you are new to the channel make sure you do subscribe i do not only do analysis videos like this as i said i got let's plays top fives top tens theories you name it we got it so come check that out subscribe and also if you enjoyed nintendo direct and you are excited for it make sure you do leave a like because i want to see you guys excitement if you want to challenge something i said in this video um, go ahead in the comment section. Just be polite about it, please. Uh, I'm sorry if I like bashed your favorite game. Like if you're really into that sushi, uh, sushi striker, or whatever it is. If you're really into that, I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't really think it's gonna be something I'm gonna pick up. And honestly, I this is what I do this for. I share my opinion, with you guys. So that's all I really got. Thank you guys for watching again. And I'm kind of rambling on, so I'm just gonna end it off here. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Chaos Man 006. And I'm signing off. Until next time, burn it up.